DAX lets you clean up and modify the text in the tables that you have imported into your data model. Indeed, it offers a wide range of functions that you can apply to standardize and cleanse text in tables. As an example, let's imagine you want to create a column in the clients table that contains a shortened version of each town. In fact, what you want to do is extract a three-letter acronym from the first letters in your town name, which you can use later in charts. I have already opened the cars Excel file and I assume that you did the same. So in the Power Pivot window, make sure that you are in data view. First, the Clients tab to select the Clients table. Here is the town column that we will use to extract a three-letter acronym from the first three letters of a town's name. All right, let's click in the blank column at the right of any existing data. This column is currently entitled Add Column. Put the cursor inside the formula bar and let's enter an equal sign. Now type left and left parenthesis. Once the function appears in the pop-up menu, you can select it if you prefer by pressing the tab key. Let's click inside the town column of the client's table. Client's town inside square brackets will appear in the formula bar. Alternatively, you can type a left square bracket and select the town field. Enter a comma. Okay, enter the number 3. This indicates to the left function that it is the three characters on the left that you want to isolate for each row in this column. Add a right parenthesis. The formula bar will read as follows. Equal left parenthesis clients bracket town bracket comma three and close parenthesis. The formula is ready. Let's press enter or click the check mark in the formula bar. Great. The column is now automatically filled with the result of the formula and it shows the first three letters of every town's name. Let's recreate the new column. Right click the column header for the new column and select rename column. I will type the word town abbreviation and press enter. But you can choose any name that you like. As you can see the left function takes two parameters. First the field from which you want to extract the leftmost characters. Second, the number of characters to extract. And that is all you have to do. By applying a simple text formula, you have prepared a column of text for effective use in visualization. DAX contains a couple of dozen functions that you can apply to text in columns. Most of them follow the same principle as the left function in that they take at least two parameters. The first of which is the column that you want to take as the basis for your new column and the second or even third parameters provide information about how the modification is to be applied. Since I do not have infinite time to explain every one of these functions, I have included a PDF file in your resources that contains a succinct overview of the selection of some of the useful text functions. This table does not explain the subtleties of every function, but it is destined to be both a brief introduction and a starting point for your DAX formulas that rework the text elements of your data tables. There are a couple of points to note now that you have seen how to use DAX formulas in Excel. Functions need not only apply to the entire contents of a column, they can be applied to a specific text as part of a more complex formula. You can enter functions in upper or lower case. A pro tip here. If you get tired of renaming columns after you have created a DAX formula, there's an alternative. Simply begin the formula with the column name and then a colon symbol and an equal symbol instead of just an equal sign. This will rename the column at the same time that the new column is created.